you chicks are timid, you just better turn back. Cause when I take a ride in my car, it's gotta be action back. Hear me? Action back. Well, your music's gonna move me. Well, I've gotta feel the beat. Nothing slow for the heart. I wanna beat for the feet. Hear me? I said beat for the feet. Ronnie is like um, I get a lot of information firsthand, like playing and also things about living in a way that you don't get by just playing in a band at home. And you learn a lot about music, about how music works and grooves, and how how to work around your way around playing music and trying to become a professional player. was too hard for me because uh, I knew what I wanted to do and I think I was pretty advanced by the time I was 17 you know I'd been playing quite a while and so by the time I got to recording records and things like that well I had to go through <clears throat> excuse me the certain certain things that all young artists go through and that's having to work with producers and people telling you what to do and you know and, and that's that was good you know I took direction pretty well but pretty basically Basically, I'm pretty much like Jocko. I think he has in mind what already what he wants to do. Yeah. And people ask me, they say, "Well, is, you know, it must have been really fun to be to live back in the '50s." Well, it was fun. But it's more fun now. Soms zit je er wel eens bij weg te dromen, maar het is gewoon uh, even geromantiseerd die hele tijd. En dat merk, merk ik gewoon door veel met hem te praten, want hij heeft dus echt met iedereen en alles gespeeld. Ze dus heeft zoveel ervaring. Ja, die verhalen die je dan hoort over mensen waarvan wij denken dat ze toen wereldsterren waren, die gewoon ook in hun auto sliepen en dat soort, uh, dat soort dingen. En die, die echt vreselijke schemers af moesten werken om te toeren. Dus. So I trust his his ears for listening, you know. I'd like to be just like him. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be like you. No, I'd like to play like him, I'd say that. You know, I couldn't do that. I, I don't, I'm, it's too late for me to be like anybody else. Rolling! <laughs> All right, let's do this sucker. Now, we're done that sucker. Hey, man. Right. Now, we're going to do this sucker. One, two, one, two, three. I'm usually hesitant to give advice, but if it would be, it would just be things that, that maybe I know that, you know, by living a little bit longer, uh, that'll make it a little, I don't want to make it too easy for him, because <laughs> he needs to know, you know, there's a lot of things, and that's, that's basically all, is that just, you know, do it the best way you can and stay focused, which he already is, and don't be too hard on yourself, which sometimes he is. <laughs> But that's just one of those things, and don't let don't let yourself, because the biggest battle of all, uh, to quote an old Indian proverb, is the, the biggest enemy you got is yourself. <laughs> 